Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Can you hear me? All right. Welcome to today's live trading session, the first of this coming week. My name is Kiriakos Harilau from the Forex Trading Desk of Trademe. And as you can see here, currently we have opened two positions already. We have entered long Euro Yen with a stop loss at 130.13 and take profit at 130.38 and also we have entered short USDC Jeff with a stop loss at 99.15 and I put my take profit at 99.90 these are the two positions we currently have opened and we have just posted them on the chat room, those of you who wish to have a look what we have entered. So, today is expected to be a quiet day. No news announcements, no important news announcements. I see that at uh, around 2 o'clock uh, UTC time, PM UTC time, we have existing home sales for the United States. Uh, the big day is on Thursday, guys, where we have at 12.30 p.m. UTC time the ECB press conference and the main refinancing rate half an hour, 45 minutes before that. And also on Thursday we have unemployment claims for the United States. So it's a big Thursday for us. In the meantime for today, I, I repeat that we don't expect, we don't have say, important announcements. However, we already identified some trading opportunities and we have placed some trades here live with you guys and I expect that many more trades will come on the way. So good morning, I see that people are now coming, in the, are now joining us, so I'd like to welcome Mary, George, Stephen, hello Patrick, good morning Peter, good morning Laura. How are you today? Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Alan. How are you today? Did you have a nice weekend? So, welcome to the, today's live trading room. I repeat that we have opened already two positions. I have entered long positions on Euro Yen and I have shorted also dollar CHF. So these are the only two positions I currently have opened. Now, as you can see, Euro Yen is not developing very well, but Dollar CHF started to go in the direction I wanted to go. So for the moment, two positions, guys. Uh, long Euro Yen with a stop loss at 130.13 and short Dollar CHF. The day is still very early. Lots of trades will come today for me. I have my setup here and I'm ready to trade guys in front of your eyes. So as I said, we don't have any important news today. We don't have any speeches. We don't have any uh, announcements. The most important day of the week is Thursday where we have ECB press conference. We have a refinancing rate and all the good stuff with Mr. Mario Draghi, the central bank governor. So as you can see my screen, I'm watching all the pairs, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar card, Euro yen, dollar yen, dollar CHF and Euro GBP. If I have any further trading opportunities, guys, we are closely monitoring everything. I will let you know if I will enter any more positions. For the moment, I repeat, I have entered long Euro Yen, as you can see here, at uh, 25.5. My stop loss is at 13. It's not doing so well, as you can see. And I have entered also short positions on dollar CHF with my stop loss, very tight stop losses, guys, <coughs> at 99.15. Now, using tight stop losses has some dangers as well, but the analysis I made, it put the stop loss so tight, so I will keep it as it is. 
So two positions for the moment, long euro yen and short dollar CHF. We are still waiting and I'm looking forward for more positions. I'm quite confident that I will have more positions in a while. And uh, for the moment, however, I don't have anything else. Let me see. Euro GBP, not yet. Dollar CJF, we are short. Dollar Yen, not looking good. Dollar Cut, we will see in a while. Aussie Dollar, not yet, guys. Okay, for the moment, we are staying with the positions we have opened. Uh, we are monitoring the eight major pairs. I'm monitoring Euro Dollar. Euro Yen, Euro Pound, Pound Dollar, Dollar Yen, Dollar Cut, Aussie Dollar, and Euro. And these are the main majors, basically. So I uh, will update you if I have any losses or profits. It seems that Euro Yen will not do me the favor to go up. And I see now that the Leaf has already entered the fe her first position for the day. So I'm transferring to a Leaf in order to update you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Here I am. I hope you had a great, wonderful weekend and you got rest and you are ready for this strong week full of, full of opportunities. So, guys, so, guys, um, I just opened, as you can see on chat, I just open a DAX position. I went long with 10 lots and I entered at 12,543. Um, uh, as you know, normally I'm entering with 20 lots, but today I entered, I started with 10 lots and the reason for that is it's um, very early and I'm expecting, I'm while I'm checking right now if this um, trading day will give us a nice wave and if so we will enter and exit very soon uh, very fast so now my take profit on this trade is 12,565 0.50 this is my take profit and my stop loss is 12,460. There we go. This is our first trade for today. Uh, let me note it down for you. I am long on that and my entry level is 12,543. My stop loss is 12,000. 460 and my take profit is 12,560. 5.50. There we go. Guys, um, you can use our chat to communicate with us. We are here um, in our nice trading, trading uh, community to be able to have a nice conversation with you. Just use the chat function here live. So if you have any question, if something is not very clear, just type it on chat and we will discuss it. Um, and um, it will be very interesting. So this is our first uh, trade. Let's check the second one. As you know, always have a look. Wow. Wow. Guys, this is cool. This is cool. Kiriakos will laugh now about me because I told him before we started, I told him I will not trade Italian for <laughs> But I can't hold back. Guys, I'm going long on Italy 40 with 20 lots. Yes, I'm going in with 20 lots. I'm buying Italy 40. I just bought Italy 40 with 20 lots and um, my take profit is the opening, uh, is the closing price of yesterday, uh, of Friday night. You see here, I will aim this approximately. It's Friday, it's Monday, it's a start in the morning, nothing 
nothing uh, outrageous happened during the weekend so i'm aiming here quite nice possibility to trade 21,780. This is my take profit. And we are aiming here around $1,200. Let's see, it looks quite interesting. It has a very nice move here. And I think we might make some money. We made some money, nice. Nice, nice, let's see. So we have already two trades now. We are long on DAX. We are long on ETB40. Uh, on DAX, we are making already some money. Let me write down also Italy 40. Long Italy 40. Yes, Ellen, Italy 40. We are long Italy 40. I'm sure so uh, Ellen is saying no, not again. Um, but I'm quite positive about it. So I entered Italy 40 at 21,727.20. And my take profit is at 21,724.9. And my stop loss, uh, I will put my stop loss below the opening of today, which is 21,000. For I will put it at 499. Because if it drops below 21,500, it's quite crucial. So this is a good place. So stop loss is at 21,4099. There we go. There we go. So the first two trades, we have one position in DAX and one position on Italy 40. Uh, on Italy 40, we just take the half spread. Let's see how it will develop. UK 100 has also a nice movement. But UK 100 is not very profitable. Okay. USA 500. Let's see Dow Jones. Guys, you know Dow Jones, USA 500 and USA 100. We are mainly trading in the afternoon during the opening because um, we are right now in the earning release pe period and during the earning releases once the release was made in the next morning um, the markets move crazy and this is something which we like and which we trade since last week and we made quite good of profit on this. If you want to see how uh, we arrange this, you can watch our YouTube videos. We have them all on YouTube where you can easily check them out. If something is not clear and you want more details about something, check it on YouTube. Um, we have almost all our live trading videos over there so you can follow them once again there also gold is very very interesting as you know last week we traded gold let's put it on the one hour uh, on the one day chart last week we traded gold gold is in a very low price uh, limit so i believe um Today, again, we will make some money on gold. Let's see if we have any movement here. Mm. I tend to go long on gold. 
But because it's right now on the middle pole in Japan and I don't get a clear signal from my stochastic oscillator and I don't get any bullish signal here on my pulse indicator, I will not enter it now. Oh, now it's going up. Oh, it's going up. However, because once it is on the top Bollinger band, I might enter a short position because I'm aiming a reversal here. If not, I will not enter it right now. Let's see. We will have it on our watch. Let's check also silver. Silver is a similar case. In general, I tend to say it started to go up. You see here the downtrend, and I think um, the downtrend has end here. And from now on, it should go up on the daily chart. If we go on a lower time frame, we see a narrow movement here. You see this narrow movement? Here, it doesn't look very interesting to trade. Let's go on oil. Oil. No, oil is not interesting at the moment. It's Monday morning. We are waiting for movements on DAX and on Italy 40. Yeah, on Italy 40, we will get there. You see, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, it's getting there. We have very less pullbacks on Italy 40 and I hope it will continue to go in our favor here. So let's see. As I said, um, the American indices, uh, we like to trade during the afternoon. In our afternoon session, I see a very nice entry possibility on UK 100. And I will go here with a high exposure of 50 lots long on UK 100, guys, I'm going long um, on UK 100. It is very interesting and it moves quite, it looks very, very interesting. We had this opening, we had this drop, a very nice crossover uh, and it started to move up. And uh, we had here a um, strong, yes, I'm sure about this trade that soon we will make some money here. I will put my trade, my, mm -hmm. let me see my take profit. My take profit on UK 100, I'm putting it 7,671. It's approximately at the closing price of Friday. And my stop loss, I'm putting at, currently we are trading at the, sorry, at 7,610, 605, 605, there we go. 
So let's write it down. We are long on UK 100. We entered at 7,637. And our stop loss is at 7,605. And our take profit is at 7,671. There we go. Guys, this is Monday. Mondays normally the market moves quite strongly. And uh, because of the weekend, everybody was sleeping and now it should start to move and we should start making money. I'm expecting money from today. Um, let's go back to our watching list. I have it written down here. Uh, gold. Gold is on our watching list, guys. As you remember, we said it looks like a movement which goes up and then turns down. Or I'm expecting here to turn down. And during the middle bow in Japan, I don't see a nice entry point, and it's still the case. So I'm waiting here. In a short while, I might get a sell signal, but I will wait until I get this signal and then I will go short. So, no, not yet. The signal is not yet there. I'm waiting still for the signal. Um, let's see, we have any news, any fundamental news which might affect our indices. We go on investing on forexlife.com. As you know, Forex Life is one of the best economic calendars and I'm checking it right now. The good thing on Forex Life, I think I mentioned it several times, but I want to emphasize it. It's quite interesting and um, important to know. You get all the time new articles and very fast articles. And that's why I find it very interesting to follow forexlife.com. Let's see. There we go. Where is it? Here. Our trades are not moving much right now. However, we are looking at it. Okay. Okay. Um, we have the Bundesbank report today from Germany. The Bundesbank is the German National Bank, Bundesbank. And today we will have the news about it in approximately one and a half hour. Um, hopefully until then we will close our tax position with some profits. Um, apart from that, anything important yeah uh, we have the home states from the states um you know housing data is very important for fundamental news um we get some housing data now today from america except of this nothing big oh i see uk 100 is moving in our favor we paid off almost our spread. You see over here, slowly, slowly, we have a, where is it? Here we go. Slowly, slowly, we paid off our spread. And we are aiming here a nice profit. And hopefully, we will get there. Yeah, we will get there. And if we see that the market moves and we reached a certain amount of profit we might we might um, adjust a bit our our uh, um, take profits as you know there we go we started to get in the green area nice nice 
um, Dax and the UK started to give us some money. Italy 40 got stuck over there, but it will move hopefully in our direction as well. Let's have a look also on Italy 40. Yes, it's it's a good one. We had a short pullback here on Italy 40, and it um, it continued this trend very nicely. No worries about it. Um, oil, oil. We haven't traded oil for a very long time. Let's see if we have any opportunities. On oil, currently oil is traded at 69. As you know, in the last weeks, it was quite crazy with oil. Um, it was up 70, it, it was up to $74, a very long time high. I think it wasn't that high since 2014. And then it dropped down to 67. And now it got again the move up, the move up to get um, up. And um, well, it looks interesting. Hmm. We have a short pull back here. Okay, I put it also oil on our watch list for today. Um, gold and oil are currently on our watch list to get a signal to enter. Here we go. You look at gold. Um, when we started, when we started. Um, First, to look at gold today, it was over here, and we didn't know if the price will come. No, it was over here, and we didn't know if the price will go up or down because it was in the middle of Bollinger Band, and none of the indicators was giving a clear, clear direction. So we kept out, and now it is. It was traded in a very narrow trading range. Guys, I will go short on gold. I'm selling gold right now, guys. I just sold gold. I just sold gold. Here I will aim a very, 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 very small move down and I will close my position. Yep, I will aim just, there we go, we, we, we will aim a very, very, very small position here. We will aim a profit of 1,000, no, I will aim a price at 1,229. There we go, and yes. Let's go there. Our take profit is very, very narrow, as you can see. Very narrow our take profit. A sharp move and we will get there. A sharp move and we will get there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Go down. We put, we are short on gold and one small move and we will get there. Yeah, one small move and we are there. Short, we are short on gold guys and hopefully our market will make us this favor and we will get some money in shortly here. We are short on gold. We entered at 1,230.64 
and my take profit here is at 1229.54 yes guys we are short on gold and it will work out for us so let me see if Kiriakos has any updates to update you these are my trades for now i will check them out and inform you about any movements guys so see you in a short while thank you very much Elif. nice trades there now guys our first for, uh, two positions i closed dollar six if i closed it manually with a small loss of uh, approximately $350. And the Euro Yen trade hits the loss, losing an additional $500. So we are approximately down by $900 since the beginning of the trading session, as I have informed you. Now I'm checking the pairs, which look very attractive to enter additional positions. Basically, I'm getting ready for a short position setup on Aussie dollar, as you can see here. And it seems that it will be a good trade for me. Uh, Euro dollar is not ready yet, but most probably in 15 minutes we will get ready to enter also short of Euro dollar. Of course, I need to get some confirmations first before I enter any short or long positions. Pound dollar looks interesting also for short positions, but we still need some time to develop. Euro yen, we have entered one long position and unfortunately we hit stop loss. Now it's developing a new interesting setup. However, for the moment it still needs to be developed. For dollar CHF, as I said, I closed manually my trade because the setup was cancelled and that I didn't allow the trade to hit stop loss. I closed it much before that. Euro GBP still needs some time to develop, guys. So for the moment, the most attractive pair for me is uh, Aussie dollar. And in approximately, let me see when this candle closes. 11.20, it has opened 11.35. At 11.50, most probably we will enter a short position and I will inform you accordingly. I see that they leave. All right. All right, take it. Guys, 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 our gold position is making money. Our gold position is making money. We are making right now $950. 900, all right, dropped. I might close it manually. It's very volatile. It's extremely volatile. Wait a bit more. We make six hundred fifty dollars, guys. Let's see. We opened this position uh, five minutes ago. Oh, now it dropped. Now five hundred, six hundred. Come on, six hundred fifty. How much we want out of this trade, guys? How much we want? How much we want? I want. Uh, also our uk 100 position is making money our gold position is making money no guys we now all our positions are in profit let me wait let me wait there we go we make one thousand dollars one thousand come on come on come on a bit more down i know that you will go down come on go down go down there we go one thousand one hundred dollars of gold ching ching and we need it for this trade just six minutes guys just six minutes ching ching we made some money great 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 so let's see uk uk 100 let's see uk 100 we are making now on uk 100 275 dollars 
this is a nice trade. I will leave it a bit more. You see this nice wave over here. You see it got down, it goes up. I don't see the reason to close this position. I will leave it at least until the middle of the event. So I will leave it. Italy 40 took us some time until it got there, but you see a very nice uptrend. And I believe it will continue to go further there. Yes, I will leave it. DAX also, DAX is slow, but I will leave it there. Gold, nice one. We made our first money for the, fir the first money this week, $1,100 within six minutes. Uh, good job. So guys, thanks a lot. Kiriakos, please continue. Very good. So, guys, I'm getting ready for some trades as well. We still, we still need, however, the right setup in order to enter our trades. Uh, basically, I'm looking for long positions on dollar yen and short positions on uh, Aussie dollar. However, the setup will be given in the next 30, uh, 15 minutes. So I need to be patient. So at 11.50, in the next 15 minutes, most probably I will have the short setup for Aussie dollar. Um, pound dollar in the next 15, 30 minutes will have, might have a good setup. For short, if it develops as I want it, Dollar cut has given one moment to check. Uh, not yet. Most probably we will enter if the setup is confirmed. Most probably I will enter short positions on dollar cut, but I need to wait this 15 minute candle to close. So, guys, in the next 15 to 30 minutes, I expect lots of action in the forex pair since. Some currencies will give us their confirmations, so we are still waiting, however, for their confirmations. They are not ready to be given to me, so I'm patiently waiting and see if I will get the confirmations. So for the moment, we have placed only two trades. The one hit stop loss and the other one I closed it manually because my setup was cancelled. So I'm looking forward now for the next upcoming trades. And as I said, no news announcements today. A very quiet day. I expect a very narrow range of trading activity in the Forex pair. So we must be very careful as to our entry level. And that's why I'm not placing any more trades for the moment. I need to be as accurate as I can because I expect today a very narrow trading range on the pairs. So that's all I have for the moment. I will update you in the chat room if I have any upcoming positions, uh, if I place any more positions. And also I will inform you about the any stop losses or take profits. Don't forget our social media presence. You can follow us on Twitter at TradeMEA. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Trademe Trading Academy is the name of our YouTube channel. In our YouTube channel, we post recorded sessions, positions closed, either with profit or with a loss. And if you don't understand anything, we say that you can download the full session and see it at your own time. And also, of course, we have our, our Facebook page at trademe.trading.education if you are kind enough to give us a like. So also, don't forget, guys, your funded accounts option. And based on that option, you can arrange a one-to-one -one session, either with me or with a lead, in order to discuss on a private basis anything that you'd like to know about trading, from trading tactics, from money management and risk management strategies, checklists, development, anything that you would like that you have difficulties in understanding the theory, or if you have, if you understand the theory and you want to see it, how it is applied on practice, contact your account manager at trader.com to arrange either with me or with my colleague, a one-to-one -one session and take you a step further to your effort 
to become a professional trader. So for the moment, I don't have any further updates. That's all I have. As I said, I'm looking, for, I'm waiting for the setup for long or short positions on a number of pairs. As soon as I have this setup, I will inform you accordingly in the chat room, or if we are live, I will go live and tell you about it. It seems that in the next 30 to 45 minutes, we will have some action in Forex, in some pairs, they are developing well. As I said today, we don't have important news announcements affecting the Forex pairs. I don't expect a lot of volatility, very narrow volatility. So that's why today we will be very careful to our entry levels because no important movements on the fair forex pairs are expected and this is usually the case for Fridays in forex. Unlike indices that they have more significant movements, especially during the European and the US opening. So that's all from me. And if you have any updates you would like to emphasize, uh, yeah. yes? Yes, sure. All right, all right. Uh, hello, guys. Here we are. Okay, hello. Here I am again. So, guys, um, our our positions um, are behaving very well. As you can see, our Italy forty position is making money. Our UK one hundred position. Uh, is making money, gold position, um, jo uh, tax position is moving in our favor. So I'm quite happy with this movement over here. I could have left my gold position a bit more. It's moving more and more down, but okay, never mind. Uh, we will enter it again later on. Oh, we had anyway we never look back currently we are seven hundred dollars up whoa guys it's moving a lot it's moving a lot let me see let's put our trades over here uk is here here you see uk 100 position uh -huh. and um here we put our dax position and then we watch all our trades. Look at Italy 40. We are making $500 on Italy 40. We are making $300 on UK 100. And we are making $100 on DAX. Great, 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 guys. Let's see. Let's see how it works. How it works. Let me see. La 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 la. Uh, it's interesting. I think I will close my all my positions. That start to drop. All of them they start to drop slowly, slowly. But I think I should leave them a bit more. Maybe I take my take profit a bit down here. Let's take my take profit here a bit down. It's Italy 40 here on UK 100. Let's go, come on. Okay, guys, I will put also here UK 100 my... my take profit down why i did it why i put it down the movement at the beginning was so good looking that i believe that it will go up to the old day oh of friday's uh all closing price but by now i see that the bollinger bands they tend to close down so i see over here uh I reduced my take profit to get the profit as soon as possible. Yes, um, let's see UK 100 looks nice and then let's go back to gold. 
let's see what's going on on gold. On gold, we had a very nice. Guys, I will go again on gold. It's so nice. I can't push back myself. I can't push back. I'm selling again gold. Here we go. I sold again gold. I'm short at gold. Gold and my. I couldn't help back. It's, it needed to be. It needed to be. There we go. Nice movement. Nice movement. Come on. Come on, a bit more and I'll close you and get some money in, extra money. Also, UK 100 is giving me $300. Come on, a bit more and I want here my take profit. Again, narrow, I put my take profit narrow at 1,228.90. And my stop loss, I will put at 1,231.20. There we go. Wow, this is nice. On UK 300, UK 100. Let's go, let's go. UK 300, UK 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I'm expecting here. I adjusted to take profit in that way that I'm sure that it will hit. Come on. Come on, move, move, move. Gold is moving also in our favor. Let's see on Italy 40 if I should adjust something. No, I will not adjust my position on Italy 40. I will leave it there. UK 100 is moving very nice. UK 100. Gold started to give us money. Nice, nice, nice. UK 100. There we go. UK 100 is giving us right now $472. We are aiming a profit here of $578. We are at $500 on UK 100. $520. They are very close to close our take profit. There we go, another $1 and close our take profit. We hit our take profit. Come on, we closed it manually. Ching, ching, we made. $538 on UK 100. Good job, guys. Our next position, we increased our morning trade, morning profit to 1,638. Very good. Now, gold, uh, we are left with gold and Italy 40. Where is our, oh, so nice this moment. So Italy 40 and gold, let's put it here. Where is my gold position? Here we go with gold position. And Italy 40, we put it here. There we go. Here we go. We are making money now on gold. Very nice. It has a very nice drop. Our take profit is very close to it. We are aiming here a take profit of $1,500. Come on, it will reach it. Come on. We are getting right now $240 on gold, very close to it. Also, our Italy 40 position is in profit with $180. Guys, the market started to move, waking up. We are making right now in total $430 on two positions. Very nice. Come on. Come on, a bit more and we hit our take profit on gold. As you can see, another one move and we get our $1,500 of profit. Come on, 420. 420, we are making right now 420. How uh, Italy 40 is moving very nice upwards, so I will leave Italy 40 over there. Uh, now go 
old hug pulled back. But it's just getting the power to attack. This is how I how I see this thing. It's just giving the power to attack. It's just attacking, attacking, attacking. Okay, on Italy 40, we are making $297. I want I want the gold position. The gold position will hit, I'm sure about it. The gold position will hit. <sighs> this pullbacks, this pullbacks, but this is just what makes you have to master a bit also your feelings here. I, I see that gold will drop. I see that Italy 40 will go up further up. There is, I don't see any stop over there. No, it will continue going up. That's the same. We are on the correct side. It's just that you need to have this patience to wait for it. So Italy 40 is stacked at $297. Gold is making some nice movements. There we go, Italy 40, $530, $532. Gold is giving also some profit. Nice, gold is giving us $400 profit. Italy 40 is giving us $530 profit. I think I will close Italy 40 with this profit. Let me check on the one minute chart if I can get a few pips more. Yes, I can get a few pips more. We are right now at $650 on Italy 40, 760, 760. There we go. I close it with $760. Okay, gold is at $820. Come on, $820. We increased our profit to $2,000. $40 for $2,400. Nice. In the morning session on gold, we are making right now $800. And we have this position open not even 10 minutes ago, we opened it. Not even 10 minutes ago, we opened it and we are making $800. On Italy 40, it's nice that we exited. As you can see, there is a huge jump down. So gold, you know what I will what I will do on gold? I will take my stop loss down. No, I will take it not down. It needs to be move a bit more. And then I will take my stop loss down to the positive area so I can get some more money. Even if it's dropping, I will get money out of it. So let me see, let me see. Move a bit more. Guys, we closed our Italy 40 position with a profit of $766. We closed our UK 500 position with a profit of $538. We closed our gold position, our first gold position with $1,100. And our total profit for today is $2,404, guys. $2,404. Very good. Currently, we are making $600 on gold. Let's go on the one minute chart and we will see it. 
There we go, ching ching. We hit another profit of $1,500 in the morning hours and we increased our profit to $3,900, guys. We made $3,900 in the morning of our trading session and our gold position, we closed it uh, within nine minutes. We made $1,500 within nine minutes, guys. A great, great morning, great Monday morning start. I'm really, really happy. And all oh, the gold position still goes. This is great. This is great. Guys, I think, I hope you could trade with me. Uh, we are left right now with my DAX position. Let's see if on DAX we can do something to to get the money in. As I as, as I told you, we are expecting some news from Germany. That's why it's in a waiting mood right now. No movement. No big movement because we are having some news, but I believe for this morning, we had a great, great start. I see that Piliakos has also some updates. I'm passing now to Piliakos, guys. Have a nice day, hey, I, I see you. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, hello, guys. Uh, let me share my screen as well. It seems that our Euro-dollar position is ready to hit take profit. Uh, we are currently making $660 on our euro dollar position and you can see it here is already it has in a, a bit more and it will hit our take profit also our Aussie dollar trade is doing very well uh, a bit more and we will hit our take profit now just 1.5 pips away from our take profit price less than one pip now away from our take profit price Aussie dollar is also developing very well and also I'm getting ready for short positions in a few minutes as soon as I get the confirmation at around 12.5 uh, I will enter short positions most probably also on pound dollar and also long positions on dollar yen and dollar CHF so despite the small losses we had in the morning, it seems that our day now is turning around and that's why we are here to make money, guys. So uh, as you can see, my euro dollar position is developing very well, currently ready to hit my take profit. We are now just two, two pips away from our triggering price of take profit. Uh, let me see other pairs. We are aiming, guys, for $805 from this trade. And it seems that is developing really well. I think any moment now we hit our take profit. The same for Aussie dollar. We have waited for the confirmation. We got the confirmation. And that's why we have shorted also Aussie dollar. Uh, also, dollar yen is looking very, very, very attractive, guys. And also, dollar CHF is looking very attractive for short positions. However, we will need to wait a few more minutes at approximately, I think, pound dollar. We will short it in about five to seven minutes from now. And uh, regarding dollar, the same, I will enter also long. It seems that is a very good trade for dollar yen, but for dollar CHF long positions, I need to wait a bit more. So most probably in around 20 to 25 minutes. In five to seven minutes, I will enter short positions also on pound dollar and long position on dollar yen. So we are currently watching the euro dollar trade. Now is just one pip away from our take profit and is developing very well. I like it a lot. So now it's almost there, guys. The same for Aussie dollar. 0 0.9 pips away from our uh, take profit level. 
I believe that it will close with a profit. If it does, I will update Oh, and we just closed with a profit. Guys, this was a nice trade. We have decreased our losses. We got $805 from Euro dollar, very nice trade. And now our losses have decreased just to $106 for the morning session. Also, as you can see now, our Aussie dollar now position is getting ready to hit take profit. That's an additional $820 ending in my pockets. Uh, I'm quite confident that this trade will also do well. And I'm waiting for five more minutes, guys, to short pound dollar and long dollar yen. If anything changes this opinion, I will inform you accordingly, as I always do in the chat room. So for the moment, we have just closed the profitable position on Euro dollar. We have our Aussie dollar running, aiming for $820. And I'm getting ready for short positions on pound dollar and uh, long positions on dollar yen uh, in around five minutes. And maybe in the next 15 minutes, around 12.20, I will enter also long positions on dollar CHF. Stay with us, guys. Stay with us because we will update you regarding the position I'm taking, either me or relief, in the chat room. Please feel free to comment or to ask any, if you want to discuss any analysis with us, please be our guests and type in the chat room any questions you might have regarding an index or a pair that you want to take a position and you want uh, our analysis, uh, uh, anything you want, you can type us in the chat room. So that's all I have for the moment, guys. Currently, our Aussie dollar trade is developing very well. And most probably, we will enter short positions in approximately, let me see, in approximately four minutes from now, we will enter short positions as well on Aussie dollar and long positions on dollar yen if nothing changes. I will inform you about these positions, of course, as I always do in the chat room. So thank you very much for watching us for this morning session. And if I have any updates, take profits, stop losses, me and my colleague Elif will inform you in the chat room. Stay with us, guys, in case we have any more trades. We will go live again, unmute our microphones and inform you accordingly if I place any more trades or if Elif places any more trades. Thank you very much for your participation. We will see you again at 1 o'clock p.m. UTC time. That's approximately in four hours from now. Till then, if you want to contact us, type in the chat room your questions and, you, and we will be more than glad to answer them. Thank you. Patients when trading CFTs with Elif Kundakji. A lot of traders are having problems to understand the calculations on MT4 when trading CFTs. This webinar will show you key formulas and calculations you need while trading. By the end of this webinar, you will know how to calculate balance and equity, what is the difference between used margin and free margin, how you can calculate the required margin per position, and how you can calculate your PL, PLN for long and for short positions. And last but not least, you will see how your margin level is calculated. So let's start. When opening your MT4 terminal, the first thing you see is the balance. Balance is reflecting all your deposited amount plus minus your realized PL, which means your PL only from your closed position and your withdrawals up to date. To make it more clear, a small example. On an account, you deposited once 10K and once 5K. So in total, you have a deposit up of $15,000. On the same account, you already withdraw one 
thousand dollars. And on your closed positions, you made a total profit of seven hundred eighty-two dollars. Summing up all these, your balance will be fifteen thousand plus seven hundred twenty eight thousand minus one thousand so your end balance up to this day would be fourteen thousand seven hundred twenty eight dollars very simple mathematics so your balance is only changing when you close a position deposit or withdraw some funds. Let's check in the same example, the equity. The equity reflects the balance plus your floating PL, which means the PL of your open positions. If you kept those positions overnight, you need to subtract from your balance also the overnight swaps. Let's check this on our example. Your balance is $14,728. Currently, you have open positions and you are losing on these open positions $800. $45. This means your floating PL is $845. You kept those positions several days, so you need to pay also your overnight swaps, which are $56. So let's sum it up. You have $14,728 minus $845 minus $56. So your equity will be $13,827. In case that you don't have any open position, your equity and your balance are equal. But if you have open positions, your equity is changing constantly with the performance of your open trades. So, after understanding the difference between balance and equity, let's go to the next. Except of balance and equity, you will see in your terminal also the terms free margin and used margin. Both terms will be only visible in case you have open positions. Let's have a close look what each term shows. Free margin. As free margin is defined, the difference between your equity and the required margin of your open positions. As you know, for each position you open, you need a certain margin. We will look at the calculation of, of a margin level in a short while. So, your free margin is the difference between your equity and the sum of the required margin of all your positions. You can see this also in this formula. Free margin equals to equity, which we saw in the slide before, minus 
sum of required margin of all open positions. <coughs> Understanding free margin, definition of used margin is clear. Used margin is the amount of your equity which you currently commit to maintain all your open positions. If you don't have any open positions, your used margin is zero and you have 100% free margin to open new trades. Let's check now how we can calculate required margin. To be able to calculate our used margin, we need the required margin of each open position. The formula for required margin is for each instrument the same. Only the parameters change. To make this clear, I will make this calculation on two examples. Let's start with Euro USD. The formula of used margin is volume multiplied by contract size multiplied by current market price divided by leverage. To find these parameters, contract size and leverage, please double click on the instrument on your market watch and choose specifications. Here you can find the contract size and the margin percentage, which is the leverage. When trading one lot of Euro USD at the market price of 1.17358, at a contract size of 100,000 and a leverage of 100, you will need a margin of 1,175. dollars. Since the formula includes the market price, the required margin is moving with any kind of price action. Let's make the same calculation on another instrument. Let's take Germany 30. In the specification, you can see that the contract size of Germany 30 is only one. So for a one lot that Germany 30 position, we need a margin of 127.48 euros. Yes, this result is in euros. Please keep in mind that instruments are noted in different currencies and you need to convert the result in your account currency. This means if you are, if you are holding a USD account, all results which are in USD, you don't need to convert. But all the other results which are in Euro, Japanese Yen or British Pounds, you need to convert into dollars. Now, after we understood required margin, let's have a look how we calculate a profit and loss per position. Here as well, the contract size is a parameter you need to know for the calculation. The formula for long position and short position are differing slightly. 
let's have a look on the PL calculation of a log position. It is exit price minus entry price multiplied by volume multiplied by contract size. Let's see this example on a DAX position. Let's say we have a DAX position of 20 lots at the entry price of 12,764.40 and our exit price was 12,795. Our PL would be 12,700. 95 minus 12,763.50 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 1, which is a result of 632 euros. This is the PL calculation of a long position. The calculation for a short position is as follows. Entry price minus exit price multiplied by volume multiplied by contract size. Here as well, let's take an example. Gold, 10 lots short. So. Our entry price is 1,296.37 and our exit price is 1,294.98. Putting the equation together, it's 1,296.37 minus 1,294.98 multiplied by 10, which is our lot size, our volume, multiplied by 100, which is the contract size, you can find it on the specification, and our PL on this position would be $1,000. $390. So, after understanding PL calculation, the other big key calculation is the margin level. Here, it is very important to understand since our stop out level and our margin call level depends on this parameter. How to define the margin level? Margin level is the percentage ratio of your account equity to used margin. So, as you remember, we found out how to calculate used margin. Now, we have to put this in an equation to understand the margin level. So, margin level equals to equity divided by the sum of required margin of all open positions multiplied by 100. Let's take this on our example. Our equity is $13,827. Our sum of our required margin, which we calculated on our DAX and Euro position, is 1,301.6 dollars. Hence, our margin level is equity, which is 13,827, divided by the sum of required margin of all positions, which is 1,301.6 cents, multiplied by 100, because 
Margin level is a percentage term. That's why we have to multiply it by 100. So as a result of this account status, our margin level is 1,062.75%. So you still have the possibility to open further trades. Once your margin level drops below 100%, you will get a notification and your account is in a risky environment. Summary. Let's have a look on what we have learned. Balance. The balance is deposited amount plus minus closed PLN minus withdrawals. Equity, balance plus minus floating PL minus swaps. Which means if you check both calculations and formulas, if your floating PL is zero, your equity equals to balance. Free margin. Equity minus sum required margin of all positions. Used margin. Sum of required margin of all positions. Required margin. Volume multiplied by contract size multiplied by market price, divided by leverage, profit and loss for long positions is equal to exit price minus entry price, multiplied by volume, multiplied by contract size. Profit and loss for short positions is equal to entry price, minus exit price multiplied by volume multiplied by contract size. And last but not least, margin level is equal to equity, sum of required margin of all positions multiplied by 100. All these formulas are very important while trading with, with MT4. Hopefully it's clear. If you have any extra question, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Only mode. Hello and welcome to this training session and educational session. My name is Kilaus Hadelal, and today this is session one of practical analysis, practical technical analysis and trading psychology. So welcome to this educational seminar, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. So let's start. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to understand the content and meaning of the golden triangle of success. For every trader to be successful, he needs to have three components in his mind, which he should follow at all times. So all successful traders have managed to correctly manipulate to, to their favor these three components, and this is exactly what we are going to do today. The second thing that we will do is, to, is for you to understand and implement under like trading conditions the steps for performing technical analysis on FX charts and we will concentrate for to short-term and intraday trading purposes. Now, <clears throat> the Gordon Triangle of Success. Many traders keep asking me, what do I need to become a trader? And why I'm not a successful trader? Why I fail? Or why can I do this as a part-time job? 
can I be a full time trader? Does it make any difference? Well, in this session, we will answer all these questions. The first thing that you need to have when you want to become a trader is to have a trading system. And when we say have a trading system, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a trading system that someone else's who is successful is following you. It's very crucial to understand that each one of you is different from the person sitting next to you. So make sure the trading system that you will develop best suits your trading profile. And what do I mean by that? There are traders that push the button, make a trade, make an investment, and they don't place a stop loss. But these traders have a lot of, have a big, big equity to manage. And they call it long-term trading. Another trader may be a trader who, sc who scalps, I mean, seven, eight pips on forex and closes a position. For you, for example, the best trading strategy can be intraday trading to go for 25, 30 pips, or even short-term trading to go for one, 200 pips. So there are so many strategies. So the first step for you is to decide what type of trading, what type of strategy best suits you, your needs, based on your time availability, based on your capital or for investment appetite. As soon as you decide on which system, that, on which strategy best suits you, then the second step is to virtually or visually test it on a chart using historic charts. So as soon as you define the parameters of your trading strategy, go back and test it visually or back test it if you, have, if you develop a trading algorithm. As soon as you believe that it's okay, uh, there is something very important that we need to say here. It doesn't mean that if you practice something on a demo account, it will work the same in life. The, the, the main reason for that is because demo fees differ substantially from live trading prices. So if, for example, you see on your back test that the stop loss was not hit by one, two, three, four, five pips, usually that's not the case with a live trading account. So don't get overexcited if the demo back test works. Usually you need to discount the results of a back testing or a demo feed, demo account, usually discount it by 20 to 30%. So as soon as you visually test it on a chart, try to the demo for at least three months, for at least three months. Why three months? Because in, during the current market conditions, these three months will reveal all the possible scenarios and all the possible accidents in, in brackets that can happen while trading. And if this is okay and you are satisfied with the results, you can go to a live account. But here, be careful. My advice is not to make a big investment here. You can start with a smaller account, for example, $10,000, and your leverage on that should be very small. Let's say half of your account size, 0 0.05, that's 5,000 per position. Now, why is that? Because as I have mentioned before, demo results with live results sometimes differ substantially. So we don't want you to get your account burned, so go easy with the first live. And as soon as you go live, you need to test your system for at least 500 trading positions. So as soon as you place 500 trades and you believe and you see the actual live results at work, then you can go and deposit more capital. So this is the first component of a successful trading, the trading system. However, that if you have a system by its own, most probably you will lose money in the market. The second important component of being a successful trader is based on psychology. When you are trading, you need to make sure that you don't have any distractions, physical and mental, when you trade. So for example, if you have a quarrel with your wife or your husband and you are emotionally not okay, don't trade. Because if you are under emotional uh, bias, you will make mistakes. Control your emotions. No emotional trading. 
and this is in capital letters because it's very important. Don't get over excited over a winning trade. Don't feel disappointed when a, when a losing strike occurs. Don't expect to have a system that it is 100% correct. Personally, my system gave 20 consecutive losing trades when I first tested. 20 consecutive losing trade, trades, but I didn't get disappointed. I continued and then I got a profit. So stick to your system, follow your psychology. It is absolutely fine not to trade every day. Nobody's forcing you. It's your money, it's your account, it's your schedule. It's not, we don't force you. Nobody force, is forcing you to trade every day. And it is highly advisable to take a break from trading, to clear up your head. It's not a wise thing to sit in front of the screen for eight hours. It kills you psychologically. So take a break, go out, take a coffee, come back. If you trade in order to make a living and for survival purposes, then don't trade. Make sure you have enough capital to survive for at least two years. So when, you, as soon as you see the front of the screen and you say, oh my God, I have expenses, I have kids, I have loan installments and I must make 2,000 euros this month from trading in order to survive, then I guarantee you, you will lose before you, even, before you even start. So it is very important that when you trade, your psychology and emotions are in harmony. When you trade, make sure you can survive for the next two years at least, as before you start making a decent income out of trading. And the third component, and equally important with the other two, is called money and risk management. Now, this is where most people get it wrong. When I say money and risk management, I mean to set up clear risk management rules. No if one and if two and hypothesis. Set them from the beginning straight away. Calculation of risk per trade or capital drawdown per trade. So many people are pushing the button and they don't know what their monetary risk is. If I hit stop loss, how much I will lose? That's absolutely not acceptable. You need to make sure that you know all these things. And third is stick to the rules and never ignore them. As soon as you set up your rules, stick to them. Because if you ignore them, it's a matter of time to burn your account. A good trading system can make you money. A good risk management policy can create immense wealth. So if you have a good trading system, but you don't follow your risk management rules, maybe your system has 90% success rate, but that 10%, if you don't follow a proper risk management rules, it will burn your account. So what are the steps for performing technical analysis on FX charts for short-term and intraday trading purposes? Professional traders adopt the so-called three time frames methodology. You need to decide what's your, what your big picture chart will be, what the directional analysis chart will be, and what the signal time frame will be. Recommended but not a must formats are listed and demonstrated below. For short term trading, the big picture chart, and I will explain in a while what do I mean by big picture, is the weekly chart. The directional movement chart is the daily or the four hour chart, and the signal chart is the one hour chart. For intraday trading, Again, this is my recommendation, it's not compulsory. You can adjust the time frames as you wish. So for intraday trading, the big picture chart is the four hours or two hours chart, if available on your MT4. The directional movement chart is one hour or 30 minutes chart, and the signal chart is 15 minutes or five minutes chart. Now, what do we mean by big picture, directional movement, and signal chart? Big picture chart. We never trade this chart. 
it is just needed to identify the general direction of the market, to have an overview of what is going on for the past few days. The directional movement chart now, this is the most important chart for you. We identify the current trend here. If the trend now matches our big picture chart, that's even better, and we strongly prefer it, but not a must, not compulsory. From this chart, we will determine also the exit levels of our trading decision. So the directional movement chart is to, is to decide whether we are going to go long or short, and we are also going to decide what our stop loss and take profit levels will be. So the direction of the market and the exit levels of your trade, of your investment, will be determined by the directional, directional movement chart. The Sigma chart, we will identify our entry level price or time of our trade and investment. So the signal chart will tell us when to enter the exact price that we will enter the market. So just to sum up, the big picture, we never trade it, we just get the bigger trend. The directional movement chart is better to confirm the trend of the big picture, but not a must. And here, we identify the current trend and the exit levels of our positions. And from the signal chart, we identify the entry level, the exact time that we will push the button, the entry level for our trade or investment. <clears throat> Once you choose your preferable trading time frame, then you need to perform the following procedures as listed below. And this is a classic flow of process that I'm personally following when I'm making trading decisions. I identify the trend of the big picture chart and mark the major Fibonacci retracement levels, 38, 50, and 61.8%, if you observe an uptrend or a downtrend. If the big picture is in an uptrend, then you need to go to your directional movement chart and check if the trend matched the big picture chart. Because as I said, I prefer the two trends to be matched, the directional movement trend with the big picture charts trend. If yes, then you need to perform the following analysis in steps. Step number one, you need to perform a trend analysis, trend lines, support and resistance levels, identify any price patterns, and look for trend confirmation signals at their majority. What do I mean here? You don't need to have 100% consensus. Usually anything above 60% consensus, it's fine. Then you need to perform moving average analysis. You need to check for bullish trend confirmation signals. For example, a bullish cross of moving averages. And number three, you need to perform oscillators analysis. Check for bullish momentum acceleration confirmation signals and or possible momentum weakening signals, i.e. divergences. Now, if the directional movement confirms the big picture chart, then switch to the signal chart end. Number one, draw a mark FIBO 50 and 61.8% retracement levels of the last move of the directional movement chart. Number two, look for all the short conditions on oscillators, RSI, MACD, etc. Three, wait for a bullish pattern to complete, a failure swing, a candlestick pattern. Four, once point three is observed, then you can enter a long position. Remember that we are trading. The most important thing that you need to remember is this one. We don't trade the moving averages in the oscillators. You need to wait always for a confirmation by the price. So once we receive a confirmation by the price, then we can enter our long position. And as soon as you do that, you need, you need to place your TP and stop loss orders. Prefer reward to risk ratio at least 1.5 times to one. Now five is as equal, as important as four. Because entering the markets, anyone can do it. You just push the button. The biggest problem of the traders is not to enter the markets, is when to exit the markets. So for me personally, what I have observed in traders that I have traded the past 10, 15 years, they enter the market, 
and they, they don't place a stop loss and a correct take profit, or they place only a stop loss and they don't place a take profit. For me, that's very wrong to do. Why? If you don't place a stop loss, it means that your capital is at risk. If you don't place a take profit, it means that you actually don't know what you are doing. You haven't made a strategic analysis of your trade. You must always put in both directions your exit levels. That's very important. And as you can see, the opposite scenario, the opposite process goes for a downturn. So if the big picture is a downtrend, you need to go to your directional movement chart and check if the trend matches the big picture. If yes, again, you need to perform trend analysis, moving average analysis, oscillator analysis. And if the directional movement confirms the big picture chart trend, then you need to switch to the signal chart, draw your Fibonacci retracement levels of the last move at 50 and 61.8, now here we are looking for overbought conditions, not oversold, overbought conditions in the downtrend for oscillators, and then we need to wait for the price pattern to confirm us our short trend. And once we see this confirmation at point number four, we can take a short position. And again, we need to place our stop loss to take profit offers 1.5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. And this is the end of this session. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in session number two of practical technical analysis and trading psychology. Thank you. In listen only mode. Hello again and welcome to session two of practical technical analysis and trading psychology training seminar. This is Tiago Scarilau, and today we'll, we'll continue with the session two of this session. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's start. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to understand the phrase, having a system is not as important as following the system. Understand your training system, check its preparation, and how to determine entry and exit levels. Correct position sizing calculation and risk management procedures. Understand the phrase, having a system is not as important as following a system. Many traders, from my experience, they claim that they have a system, but for some reason, sometimes they don't follow the system. And here I list three classic examples of what is happening to non-experienced traders while trading. In order to understand this phrase, I gave you three examples. Example number one. Today, my system indicated short positions, but since the instrument is falling for five consecutive days, I had a feeling that it will start going up, so I have entered a long position. I'm sure many of you have come up with this during your trading life. This is absolutely wrong to do. Follow the system. Avoid emotional trading. Now you will tell me, is it possible it's falling for five consecutive days? Is it possible to have a sixth down day? Yes, the probability suggests that this is falling for five consecutive days. The probability suggests that yes, since the system is indicating a downside movement, it will continue to fall. We are not the ones who determine a top, we are not the ones who determine a bottom. We are trying to follow the big players of the markets. Example number two, which is a very, again, a very common scenario. A friend of mine who has much more experience than me in forex trading called me and told me that the pound dollar rate will go up. So I entered long positions for the day. This is absolutely, again, wrong. Follow your system, not your friends. No matter if they claim that they have experience. You have a system, as we have seen in session one, you have followed all the steps, you have back-tested it, you have tested it on a demo, you have tested it on a live. Trust the system and simply follow it. Example number three. 
I have been training using my system for the past two months and accumulated a nice profit of 25%. But the past four days keeps losing me money. Current profit is down by 5%. I'm total up 20%. So I believe my system does not work anymore and thus I will change it. That's absolutely the wrong and incorrect thing to do. Follow your system. It is absolutely normal to have drawdowns. And as I said in session one, when I was testing my system, the first 20 trades were a losing trade. And then the account turned positive. Don't get disappointed, stick to the plan. So having a system is not as important as following a system. It's not as simple as say, ah, I'm trading using a system, my system. But you never follow it. So as soon as you have a system, make sure you follow it. Understand your trading system. Checklist preparation and how to determine entry and exit levels. When you develop your system, prepare a checklist. It is much better to have a visual consensus of the bullish bearish signals when entering a long or short positions. Don't say, ah, I remember it, I will not write it down. Write it down, prepare a checklist. Don't manipulate, and this is very important, don't manipulate the checklist results. Be cold-blooded. Just tick mark on the checklist whatever you observe and not what you think or wish to observe. That's another very important point. Adopt rating of importance. And bullish observation on the directional movement chart has much more validity and importance than a bullish observation on the signal chart. Make sure our consensus rating procedures confirm the type of investment position you are about to take. If, for example, you have a consensus of long positions on your checklist and the instrument is rising for the past 10, year, 10 days, don't enter short. Your system is saying long. Adopt clear criteria for the exact entry levels. List the criteria, analysis conditions, that you need to observe, confirm on the signal chart to enter a position or a trade. For example, do you need 100% confirmation of all the criteria or just above 75% consensus is enough? Adopt clear exiting strategies procedures. Monitor and manage the trade. List possible scenarios that if observed on the chart might force you to close the trade prior to hitting a stop loss or you are taking profit orders. Don't be afraid to cut profits or losses before if you are exiting strategies procedures instruct you to do so. There is absolutely nothing wrong there. If the trend or if you observe anything based on your exit list procedures that is telling you to exit the position, act like a killer. Do it now, don't wait. And this is an example of a checklist I personally use. We say to list down all the instruments that we examine, all the indicators, all the moving averages, all the price patterns. We set to adopt the rating. If I'm an intraday trader, this means that my directional movement will be the one hour chart and needs to have more rating than the monthly chart, for example, or the daily chart. As you can see here, I have almost double weight on the intraday or the four-hour chart than the short-term chart, for example. Perform a rating procedure. And this is an example of a checklist I'm personally using. And now we are looking at euro dollar, for example. This was last updated 11th of May, and I saw based on my system that I had 85% probability to get a successful short position. This is how a checklist should look like. Another thing that is very important is to have a correct position, position sizing calculation and risk management procedures. If you lose 5% of your account, then the gain required to break even is 5.2%. If you lose 10%, 
then to break even, you need to make 11.11%. If you lose 15%, then you need to make 17.6% to break even. If you lose 20%, then you need to make a return of 25% to break even. So up to this point here, things can be reversed to, to break even. But from the orange part to the downside, most likely you will never recover. And that is the main reason why the majority of portfolio managers stick to the maximum capital drawdown percentage between 15 and 20%. Because if you lose 50%, it means that you need to make 100% recovery to break even. If you lose 75, you need 300%. And if you lose 90% of your capital, you need 900%, which is almost impossible to do. So make sure you stick to the green part as far as capital drawdown is concerned. We are talking about maximum annual capital drawdown. If you lose this money in a year, stop trading next year. What are the types of determining your stop loss? There are three types of stops. You can have the money stop. For example, if you lose $100, you will close your position. You have the percentage of capital stop. For example, if I lose 1% of my capital, I will close my position. And you also have the time stop. For example, if the trade does not close by 7 p.m., I will close. How do you determine now the correct position size in Forex using a money stop? For example, you want to go short on Euro dollar with a 25 pip stop loss and a money stop of $300 for this trade. So in other words, your stop loss was predetermined at 25 pips and you don't want to lose more than $300 on this trade. What is the formula for that to find the exact position size to fulfill the criteria of 25 pips and $300 money stop. The formula is stop loss in monetary terms divided by the stop loss pips. So the proper position size is $300 divided by 0 0.0025. So this means if you do the maths, it's 1.2 loss or a position size of 120,000. So in this, by using this formula and having in mind the stop loss in keeps and the money stop you want to face, you can automatically determine your position size. And this completes session two. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next training session. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you. Hello guys and welcome to our afternoon session. How are you today? This is Hilario Stailau talking from the Forex Trading Desk. Currently we have opened uh, two positions. Just a moment to show you my screen as well. So for the moment we have entered a buy position on dollar yen and a sell position on Aussie dollar. We have placed a lot of trades today, but the markets, when they are the trading range, they are killing us, guys. That's why we have a small loss for the day. They are down $350. Nothing important, very minimal loss, and we will definitely try to recover during this afternoon session. I'm preparing in the next, uh, in the next uh, 15 minutes my setup for long positions on Euro Yen is ready, so most probably I will enter also long positions on Euro Yen, so we will make three hour trades there. And we will see how it goes throughout our afternoon session. As you can see now, the pairs today, we got a nice $800 profit on this decline of the Euro, and then guys, nothing. We, we have shorted Aussie dollar and then we closed it because the setup for the short was cancelled and now I have shorted it again. Pound dollar, uh, I think we didn't touch it today, just a moment, no, we touched, we placed a buy limit order and we cancelled it. And also we have shorted pound dollar with a small loss. When 
the markets fall and then go up, I don't like it. I want this setup, crystal clear. When the setup uh, is cancelled, I'm closing the positions, I'm accepting my losses, I'm cutting my profits and that's it. This is what I have told you in one of my webinars, those of you who have bought any training programs with us, is that it's not a bad thing to cut profits, to cut losses, if the system is not developing exactly as you wish it to be. So for the moment, we have entered a long position on dollar yen. Our take profit is at 111.38. And our stop loss is at 111.13. Basically, for that trade, I'm risking $575, aiming for $550, more or less is one to one. For my short position on, on Aussie dollar, I'm risking $475, and I'm aiming for $775. However, we will see how it goes and decide accordingly. I'm closely monitoring both trades. If the setup is cancelled for any reason, I will inform you accordingly. So I'm getting ready for, in approximately two, three minutes, most probably I will enter long positions as well on Euro Yen. Uh, it, it has a nice bullish pattern form and, 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 and a nice bullish setup. So I'm getting ready guys in two minutes to enter long positions also on Euro yet. Let me see the other pairs, dollar card, nothing, pound, dollar, nothing, Euro dollar, not yet. I'm waiting for it, most probably in the next 15 to 30 minutes. Aussie dollar, we are short. Euro yen, I'm getting ready for long positions, do I say Jeff? nothing yet and euro pound the setup was cancelled for our short and for our long positions euro pound troubled us a lot today so for the moment we are not touching it again uh, everything is ready now guys for a long position on euro yen i'm just waiting for the 15 minute candle to close and most probably i will enter it's a very nice setup there it looks really bullish together with dollar yen, generally the yens are very bullish and that's why most probably we will enter long positions on euro yen as well in approximately 20 seconds from now last confirmations for me, this is okay, this is okay, the MACD is okay so I'm getting ready guys to open a long position on euro yen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 here we go, change the candle and we are going long guys, just a moment for the candle to change and we have just entered the long positions, so long euro yen, let me determine now my stop loss and my take profit, uh, 130.40 minus 10. 130.30 is my stop loss and my take profit just a moment to determine also my take profit 130.55 is my take profit on Euro Yen so that's Euro Yen stop loss 130.30 and take profit 130.55 so this is the most recent trend we have entered uh, we have entered let me sum up all the trades so that you can see them guys basically I'm um, long euro yen I'm short of the dollar and I have just entered a position long on euro yen as you can, as you can observe my stop losses are very strict 10 pips and I'm aiming for approximately 15 pips on each trade I'm placing. Uh, I'm looking, I'm waiting now for most probably the next uh, trade I will enter in the next 15 minutes. If the correct setup is halting, it's going to be long positions on Euro dollar. For the moment, nothing 
is ready for a good setup. The Aussie dollar trade is doing fine and we are getting ready for the $775 profit as you can see here. Our dollar yen also is developing well. For the dollar yen trade we are aiming, let me tell you how much, $548. And if I have any updates, of course, you will be the first ones to learn about them. Euro yen is declining a bit now. It's absolutely normal. And it is seven pips away from our stop loss. However, no worries. The Aussie dollar and the dollar yen trades are developing very well. And most probably we will have two or three more trades on the major pairs I'm monitoring. Of course, the correct setups must be fulfilled and the correct criteria must take place in order to push the button for any long or short positions. So, regarding news announcements, we are always looking the news from forexlive.com. This is our partner website with all the news announcements there. Uh, for today, we didn't have any important announcements. Tomorrow, at one hour before our trading session starts, we will have some announcements for the Euro. It will not affect our trading session since the trading session will not start yet. But at, 11, but at, uh, at 8 o'clock, UTC time AM, we have flash manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI for the Euro. And uh, that's all we have for tomorrow, guys. A quiet day tomorrow as well. I hope we get some volatility eventually. We don't like trading range conditions. They are killing me as a trader. But we will see how we will do tomorrow as well. Now, as you can see, guys, our Euro Yen trade is not developing so well. Currently, we are down $360. However, our Aussie dollar trade is doing well and our dollar yen trade is doing well. I will update you and let you know if I have any additional trades or if I hit any take profits or stop losses as I always do through the chat room. So for the moment, uh, that's all I have. We will, uh, definitely I will have more trades, most probably long positions on dollar card. Euro dollar, the long setup was cancelled, so most probably we will have long positions on dollar cut. That's the only interesting pair I'm watching right now. All the rest, they don't seem attractive to me. So most probably we will enter in the next 15 to 30 minutes our last trade for today, which is going to be long positions for dollar card if the setup stays as it is. <coughs> so for the moment we are doing generally okay. Our short position on Aussie dollar is doing fine. Our dollar yen position is making us some money. The only trade that is losing us some money is Euro yen. Of course the losses are very limited, $575, which is, according to our account value, this is absolutely fine and acceptable to have it. So that's all I have for the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will now transfer you to Elif for the US Open, which will start in approximately 20 minutes, just to have a brief outlook of how the indices and the metals are behaving before the US Open. Guys, welcome to our afternoon session. Guys, um, we had this morning a nice, nice trading session and we made $3,900. Um, as you remember, we had one DAX position open and I just closed it because let's have a look on DAX. Nothing moved since this morning, really literally nothing moved we exited here 
and then it dropped a bit, it came up, and since it's so, as Kiriakos already said, the uh, trading range is such a narrow one here, also on the indices, especially on DAX, that I said there is no uh, reason to keep this position for longer, there is not, not much to get out, so I closed that. Um, the only um, indices which would have been nice to trade further would be UK 100 we closed and then it had a drop and then it moved again in in uh, in a buy position we could make here some positions but okay we see now how it goes um now the interesting indice which i would like to emphasize is gold as you remember, we made again today quite good profits on gold and I'm wondering if I should enter it now again because it's a nice setup here to enter again a position. Um, let's wait for a pullback here and when we have a nice pullback, I will enter it again. That's why I will put a sell limit on gold. Let's see here. We put a sell limit of 10 lots. It's okay. Pending order, sell limit. And I want that my price goes to 1,207. Hmm. 227 and over there I want to sell when the price reaches this limit here I want to sell uh, let's see how it will work and we will decide um, the American opening is coming close let's see what the U UK uh, US indices um, did today during the day. Um, they are in general in a downtrend, as you can see here. This is the daily chart. Um, today they opened positive and then they had a um, drop. And uh, if we check it on a narrow, on the one hour chart for the last hours it's in the same trading range not much movement let's see how it will react now with the opening this was us 100 let's see us 500 also on us 500 the same picture a bit of a drop a bit of a drop, uh, but not a big movement. Down Jones, we will focus today on Down Jones and see how it will move on, how it will be moving today. Um, and uh, hmm. looks interesting. looks interesting oil and brent oil um they had throughout the day a move and for the last 20 minutes half an hour eight, they are dropping quite strongly um prior the american opening they seem to drop quite strongly let's see if we find any nice entry here now let's go back to gold to see how our gold move is reacting not much as you can see a very uncertain move also shown on the stochastic oscillator mm -hmm. let's see let's see let's see how it will react um today as we said we had only 
the house sales i think from the fundamental analysis but also here i couldn't find a big movement on the market it will work hopefully guys how you spent your afternoon you had some nice trades just let me know on chat so we can analyze your possibilities and your entry levels to see how you did and how it was i think this is gold gold is interesting let's go back to oil if we can find oh, oil nice uh -huh. it reached the 70 dollars per barrel and now it's down again 69 dollars uh -huh. but as we said we gave it to the market sometimes we have to give it to the market the profit so um it will have some nice movements for us as well looks interesting let's get ready for however it looks interesting but let's get ready for our um for our setup for our us opening we put gold by uh, we could we put um oil by side and don't worry about it we missed a nice entry level over here but as i said it belongs to the lie uh, belongs to the trader's life um there is always opportunities in the market it's just that you need to see it on time so um if we stick now here on this and then we would miss our alternative entry opportunities our sell limit on gold is almost getting triggered almost shall we move it a bit higher do you think we will get there we go we just opened the gold position our sell limit just got triggered let's see how it will move on we see already the the you see here we are on the one minute charts on gold and you see uh, the tension here and we entered at 1227 and let's see during the opening i will not put now any i will put my take profit but i will not put a stop loss now because during the opening it might move very strongly that's why i will not put my stop loss on it we just paid our spread is this wonderful guys it just hit our entry level our sell limit and now it drops it drops strongly and uh, this is nice i believe it will go again a bit up very small up movement will happen and then it will get the very strong um move down but however let's put our entry level our stop our take profit which is 1225.60 yes this is our take profit which i will put there I go we just put our take profit and this take profit will bring us another one thousand four hundred dollars it's not a big um range i believe during the opening it might hit immediately hopefully let's see let's see guys it will get there so we have our first 
first position on gold. I'm tending now. Shall we put also a? No, I will put my stop loss after after the opening because during the opening it might make a shake and I don't want just because of the opening to hit my stop loss. Um, and and uh, um, although my direction was okay. Guys, I'm noting it here on chat. Where is my chat? On chat, uh, our sell position. So I'm short on gold. And my entry level is at 1,227. And my take profit is at 1,227. 25.60 so and stop loss will come later on as you know guys i'm very often just putting first my uh take profit first my trade and i'm posting it directly on chat so in case that you are interested to um come and get it as well and then i put my target prices this is how i go this is what i do let me check if some interesting trades will continue if we have any other interesting trade and then we will start preparing our trading for the american opening so for today oh my god look at italy 40 as well what a trading range look at this look at this look at this indicator over here no bolts no bears nothing look at this very narrow very narrow very look at the one day chart this is the one day uh chart there is a movement but so small so small look over here what a nice movements what a nice candles we had here 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 and today it's such a small such a such a small movement good that we traded and we got our money uh this morning on italy 40 we made 766 dollars this morning um we had a very nice trade on uk 100 on gold we had two nice trades and hopefully soon we will get the third trade on gold um last look on gold yes now it will be interesting now it will be really interesting let's go on the one minute chart uh -huh. now it's getting, going to get interesting and we will get a very very nice trade out of this so uh we have another five minutes another five minutes to go to check for the u.s opening let me see here we go let me see i will prepare my screen for the u.s opening guys u.s opening now in approximately four minutes to go what i do as you know i put all three um american indices on the one minute chart on my screen and i'm watching at the one minute chart for all three assets i will focus today on usa 30. i will focus today on usa 30. we'll let ha let's have a look a general look how usa 30 uh behaved in the last few hours okay also here a narrow trading range no clear uh, direction good let's put it back to the one minute chart usa 500 let's put it on the half an hour chart 
uh, also here, no clear direction going a bit up, down, going a bit up, down, but in general, we see a up, very, we could say a up trend, up slope, trend slope. You see it also on the parabolic SAR. The parabolic SAR is moving below the candles, which is indicating us a general uptrend. But if reading from the stochastic oscillator, it's not over uh, sold. So um, contradictive information between the two uh, indicators here. Um, Let's see during the opening. But during the opening, anyway, the day trend is not affecting us in general. Um, basically, during the opening, what we do is we, we are scalping. We enter the market and close the position within a very, very short time period. This is what we do. And, and um, we aim around profits around for 300, 400, 500 dollars, we uh, within very short time periods. This is our aim. This is our strategy. We are scalping during the opening. So let's see. Let's see. Also for USA 100, we are watching at the one minute chart because we will trade on the one minute chart also during the opening today. You see here the same picture, no clear movement. You see the parabolic S tend to be at some point uh, on top, but then it was not. Uh -huh. So you see our gold position was very close to hit, take profit, and then it turned again. Um, the opening is very soon. That's why we will. We have another one minute to go. Let's get ready, guys. We have here our what, USA 100. Here we have our USA 500, and we have our Dow Jones position. So we are trading Nasdaq, S&P 500, and Dow Jones. Let's see how it will behave. Gold, I'm now totally. Um, I'm not focusing right now on gold. It will just run over there and we will see how it will react. So USA, I see Dow Jones has a kind of a hectic moves right now. It's the hectic just stopped. Let's see. Let's see. Now concentration, guys. Hmm. The U.S. opening just started. Okay, okay. You see here USA 100, a great move on USA 100. USA 30, nothing really yet. A hectic up and down. We didn't put any trades yet because we want to see what is happening. Okay, I'm going now on USA 30 long. I just opened a long position on USA 30 and I open a long position on USA 100. My USA 30 position. Let's open also. When I have a pullback on USA 500, I will open also USA 500. No, USA 500, I will leave. On USA 30, I'm making money. On USA, uh, on USA 100, I'm making money, but on USA 30, I don't.
but this is okay. So you see here the bolts took over. The bolts took over, and this is nice. Let's put also here my bolts indicator. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, here that's definitely clear. The bolts took over here. I think I will buy also USA one five hundred. I just oh, I bought also USA five hundred, and the market started to move against me. Let me see how how we'll cope this. Now it is will move. This will move. This is clear. It will move in our favor. I see USA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it comes, now it starts to move in our favor. This is good. This is good. We entered a bit too early on USA 30. We are making right now $100 on USA 100. Also on USA 500, we are making money. Only on USA 300, we still pay the spread because the market didn't move much in our favor. USA 30 is really crazy, guys. It's really, really crazy. But I will do some. Um, okay, guys. Today, the markets can't decide in which direction they should move. Can't decide in which direction they should move. I see. Oh, okay. Guys, I will sell also down Jones a bit. I just sold down Jones just to get a bit of money in. And once it's a bit in profit, I will close down Jones. So, 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 oh. However, 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 um, I will put a very narrow take profit on my first down Jones position. I will put it at 25.055. This is what I will do. And also here, I will put a very narrow 
narrow uh, take profit of 25 25,000 zero fifteen Okay, with USA 100, we are totally in the wrong direction. I think we totally got influenced by the spike. This happens. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's open it again. Again, what's going on? Come on. So it started to move in our favor a bit. So I see that Kyriakos has an update. I will pass to Kyriakos and let you know, guys, know what's happening here on my site. So Thank see you in a few minutes. Thank you very much, Elif. So basically, guys, we are left on with only two trades. Our Euro Yen trade, unfortunately, his stop loss, a stop, a very small stop loss of $575. However, as you can see, our Dollar yen and Aussie dollar trades are doing relatively okay. Uh, the dollar card cancelled the long position setup, so most probably we will not enter any more trades for this trading session. Uh, we are <coughs> we have entered long positions on dollar yen and also short. We are short on Aussie dollar, guys. Uh, we will see how these trades develop. Currently, for the moment, they are doing okay. Uh, Euro dollar, we might have a trade upcoming in a while. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Five or fifty? No. No, guys, that's all we have for today, basically. Uh, I will not place any more trades. We have already traded and placed a lot of trades today. Currently, we are down $890. However, if Aussie dollar hits our take profit, we almost break even for today. So no worries about that. Generally, a very narrow trading range day. Very low and slow movements on the forex pairs. We di I didn't have the expected volatility that I would like to have. Uh, a few reasons about that. First of all, it's July, volumes drop. Second, the, S the new ESMA regulations are restricting the leverage to 30 times. So I believe that these two factors will definitely shrink a bit the volatility in forex. I just hope it don't become stocks. <laughs> but anyway, it's something that we will see very shortly, guys. So together with you now, we are monitoring the Aussie dollar. It's very, it's very close now hitting our take profit. It seems that we will get it. Our dollar get position is slightly above our entry level, as you can see. Uh, so far, We are doing okay about these two trades. Guys, do you have any positions that you have taken on Forex? If you have, please feel free to write your positions or when if you think to take a position, we can discuss about it and assist you on, 
on technical methodologies that you are using. Also, don't forget that we have a very good support team, educational support team, trading.com. If you would like to have a one-to-one -one session either with myself or with my colleague Elif regarding anything that you want regarding trading, don't hesitate to contact your account manager at trading.com and arrange a one-to-one -one session with us guys. Now, the one-to-one -one sessions have nothing to do with theory. They concentrate on the practical aspects uh, of trading. And their main aim is to make you better traders. We are in the one-to-one -one session, don't expect us to give you trading tips. That's not the purpose of the trading session. However, expect us to assist you in preparing a checklist of your trading system. Expect us to assist you prepare your optimal risk reward and money management strategy. Expect us to discuss with you your existing trading system and trading style and improve it. These are the key areas of a professional, a successful professional trader. We are not here to give you tips. We are here to assist you become better traders. Okay, so just to clarify that because a lot of people are asking me how I get out of what can we trade today. That's not the purpose of the one-to-one -one sessions. They are purely educational and they are purely how to make you a better trader and not just to copy our trades. So, uh, as I said, you can arrange a one-to-one -one session through your account manager at trading.com. Those of you who have funded accounts this is a unique opportunity through the one-to-one -one sessions to learn from us guys, take advantage of us in a good sense, the mentors, and actually make money and enjoy the performance payments that TradeMe offers on your funded account, 100% funded accounts, by the way. Those of you who have already bought any of our training programs, we know about what figures we are talking about. So... The one-to-one -one sessions are very important for those to be, want to become a professional, professional traders and actually start making money out of trading. So that's all I have for the moment, guys. I will update you if I have any updates. Uh, now you can see that we are marginally close to hit our take profit on OZ dollar and our 755 dollars of profit. So. We will just stay here, unless if Elif wants, Elif, you can interrupt me at any time you wish. We will stay here and let's hope that we will enjoy another profitable uh, position until the end of the trading session. So we are monitoring now Aussie dollar. Dollar yen is also developing well. It's just, however, five pips above our entry level uh, price. Let me see. I don't have any other positions for the moment. I don't, since our trading session ends at 5, I don't believe we will have any significant movements until then, apart from the two positions we currently have opened. So, 725, 700 and, uh, let me see, $775 with five lots. As I said, stop losses are very minimal, 10 pips for each trade, aiming for approximately 15 pips, including the spread of the pair. So $700 to $800 is the profit I'm aiming with five lots for each trade that pays. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else do I have here. Nothing, guys. So. I don't believe we will have any more trades for you. We already placed around 20 trades since the morning. Some of them close with a profit, some of them close with a loss. Let me see if I have anything else probably for you. Okay, we might have a short position on Euro dollar and a long position on dollar CHF. Let me see, most probably we will have a short position on Euro dollar, guys. 
So get ready for a short position on Euro dollar. Basically, we are waiting for this candle to close. It will close. Uh, it will close five minutes before the end of the trading session. Hope. So what's the point of placing that trade? I don't see any point of placing that trade. I want the positions to be open and close live in front of you guys. So although I have a short setup, I will not short it because we are approaching the end of the trading session. So stay with me guys and I will update you. You will see my screen and I will update you if I close. You will see the position closing live and also I will go live and inform you about it. Ju guys, guys, just right now we hit take profit on gold. We hit take profit on gold. We closed another gold position with a profit of $1,500. We just closed it and we increased our daily profit today to 5,169, guys. Very good. So now we are left with uh, USA 30 positions. Let's see how they develop. It's a bit... Um, Basically, on USA 30, we got stuck in this trading range. You see, we entered on the ages and it's uh, we got stuck. Let's see how it will develop and hopefully we will make some money here as well. But it might take a bit longer than we use. But in general, our... our um, trading day was really really successful for today i mean we made another 1400 dollars we closed our position and we needed for this position approximately half an hour to make 1400 dollars let's see how usa 30 will develop and if we can get any profits out of this as you see we hatched on it and we got stuck in the range here we hatched on the edges which is not very well but okay it happens it happens and we see we see how it will develop and i uh, will trade on it as well see what is happening with gold if we can see any other possibilities on gold gold has a general downtrend as you can see a general downtrend on gold but i will not enter it again i want to clear out my positions on usa 30 for now And once I clear out my USA 30 positions, I will see how I trade. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now it gets. Basically, basically what I want is that. We close with profit. The one position let me see the general movement of the day it's such a you know, 
Okay, guys, I'm not worried at all about the Dow Jones position. It will be not moving as fast as I was expecting it, but never mind. The range is so narrow when I put narrow take profits. Uh, in any case, I believe uh, I will hit take profit on my buy, buy position and also on my sell position. And... Um, we will be well off. We will be well off. Yeah, I believe this will what well, this will happen very soon. Um, I just hope that it will be fast and we will do it as we used to do during the last week. It took us today a bit longer to enter, and the movement was not very clear. Never mind, never mind. We are watching the trade and we see how it will happen. Still, we had a nice afternoon trade on DAX, uh, on gold. Ah, see, look at this, look at this DAX decided to wake up but still even such a wake up is uh so small but it decided to wake up <laughs> um let's see where we put our trade on usa 100 as you know we have also a position open on usa 100 which is also not moving in our favor We had a big, big drop on USA 100 and we were on the wrong side of the development. I will put my take profit a bit higher. Let me see where I will put my take profit. I will put my take profit at 7,338.50. And my stop loss, well, let's see, I will uh, put here my take profit. It will be a take very, very narrow take profit. I just want to exit from this trade with as less loss as possible. Let's go back to USA 100. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are quite well off. We made today incredible $5,000, $5,169. I mean, we can be happy even if we close right now all our positions, we will we will have more than $3,000 profit. I mean, it's a great, great uh, day. Uh, and I don't believe that I will close all my positions right now with the loss. So no worries and we are well off. And um, I really, really enjoyed this morning, although I was hoping a bit more from the American opening. However, the gold position made us happy today. And you see it's still dropping. Uh, I secure, I will secure now my, my USA one, uh, 300 positions. Also here, I will put a take profit here also with 25,000, 9.31. I will put it here, 60. I want a bit more from this position. I entered a bit lower, so I want a bit more. And my stop loss, I will put here. Yep. My stop loss. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. USA 30 started to drop. Maybe I can close my sell position 
and aim a take profit as you see okay here we go maybe i can close this with a small profit and aim for a reverse and get my positions my two buy positions done definitely uh Dow jones has a general uptrend as you can see going up pulling back going up pulling back going up pulling back so uh the pull back i'm hoping the buy positions to hit take profit so thank you guys for the afternoon trades from my side i will not put any new trades anymore however for today we made five thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars right now and um it's a great result i believe and uh, the open positions i will update you on twitter how i close them and when i close them until then i wish you a nice afternoon stay with us and tomorrow morning we will be here again with nice trades if you want to trade with us also tomorrow just come to our live trading session at at eight o'clock utc time tomorrow i'm checking right now no okay yeah kiriakos do you have any updates no okay so thank you for listening us we are on the end of our trading session it was a great trading session and we made five thousand dollars more than five thousand dollars profit we have still some positions running from the u.s opening which they developed against uh, our fave but however we will get the money in right now um, one of the positions is already making money so no worries and it will develop quite well guys i wish you a nice afternoon um hope seeing you tomorrow in our live trading session again here at traderme.com with me and kiriakos to trade forex and indices and metals and commodities and uh, yeah see you tomorrow guys bye bye